The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. Certainly did. And I remember going back to my notes before this game, and a lot of times when I scout a guy, I have a little section about how does he handle adversity. And in this case, a big check mark. He may have thrown the first interception, but I don't think he's going to throw very many more. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch. A lot of times they just run past you in the initial point of contact. And they're deep. Probably what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Here's Watson now on second down. Rolling to his left. They'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. He'll get only three down, so he leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That might be a great lost opportunity for the offense, but it's a defense brought pressure down to him. And sometimes it gets that. You get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Watson looks to throw again. He'll buy some time right. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. to punt. Back deep for the box is Devin Tompkins. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. To throw, Mayfield. Now the ball comes loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. They run straight ahead here with White. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. This now a third and four. Throwing, Mayfield. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. 
In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. A gain of maybe a yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second down, here's Watson. Flushed out right. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line. 3 0 after one on EA Sports. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, here's White. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. This is second and eight. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Mayfield to throw it. And to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 25 yard line great way to convert on third down there 21 yards the play if you're going to blitz likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy and that is less than ideal it is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver if you blitz and have him in man coverage you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does Mayfield on first down and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second down, Mayfield. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Jacob Phillips charging hard for that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And his kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So they're going to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. 
Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Steps away to his left. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. He stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll come up now, third and three. Moore, the man in motion. Watson on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. carry now for Kareem Hunt and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage Shaquille Barrett there pushing upfield to make the stop another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack yeah right there the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield so how are you going to combat that you know because they bring in your tight end keep him in your running backs they have to step forward bottom line points. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Out of the gun, Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to lead to a down as the tackle's made at the box 33. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Watson. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Elijah Cancy. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. 
And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half, but not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. something here on third down. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. with six DB, so a dime set here on third down. Here's Watson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers are going to get the football here at their own 40 yard line. Teams turn it over three times in the first half. We just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They've played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Play fake, Mayfield. That'll be taken in down the field by Godwin. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover and boom, hit him with a big one. The defense is planned for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of a game, when that quick change takes place, oftentimes, touchdown! Chris Godwin 